Hello Cyberspace, my name is Matthew Fogel and uh, I'm from Team Omega Envoy and today I'm going to be talking about the IPN920. Um, I have a procedure written down here of how we are going to actually plug this in and set it up and do an example test run. Alright, the first step is to set it up correctly. You have to plug in your rubber ducky antenna and then plug that into the actual 920 over here. We then subsequently plug in the um, the power adapters into over here. We plug in the Cat5 cable into our computer over right here, and we make sure that everything is running. Now, a little red light is going to come on. That's going to flash a bunch of times until finally it stabilizes. And when these three green lights turn on, we'll know that things have started working. As you can see, this will stabilize in a sec. This is known as our status light. All right. Now the first thing that we want to do is we want to ensure that the IP addresses for the LAN is set to 192.168.1.10. Then it has a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So how we do that is, we go to our start panel, we go to the control panel, we wait for the computer to load, <laughs> we go to our network and sharing center, we go to change adapter settings, go to our local area connection, go to the properties, we go to our IPv4, click the properties of that, and we have it set to the appropriate IP address. The next step then is to open a web browser. Just any web browser. It could be Google Chrome, Opera, whatever you like. <laughs> Just not Mozilla, right? And we then type in um, the IP address of 192.168 dot uh, one dot two five four. Now this isn't going to work directly for me, chances are, because I already have these set up to a certain special IP address, but that'd be getting ahead of myself. Now what you're going to do then is you're going to create a unique IP address for the master, which is the lead uh, um, node. So we had already named that 18. Here we go there. My apologies, you have to plug in both. This one is known as 12. I had given him a unique IP address. So you're going to have a login screen that comes up. And the, at the default uh, password and username is admin. And then admin again. So you're going to come up to this window, which is a um, configuration window. So what you're going to do to actually uh, configure and give a unique address is you're going to go to network configuration, local IP configuration, and then we're going to, you can set it here and give it a unique address. Now you have a range to work with. You started at 10, you can go to 20. So that gives you a range of 9 to work with. So we set this one to 12, which was our remote and then you click submit after setting it to the same subnet mask this is all should all be standard and then we go to radio configuration and we set the operation mode to in this case for with this setup we set it to remote we set um, the retransmission to five we set the uh, network type to point to point we set the destination unit to 20 the repeater to no, the optimization to balanced, and the zone restriction to none, and the channel number to 16. Uh, now we're going to repeat this whole process for the other one. Uh, so we'll go and type in that one. Same, same steps, login, admin, admin. We go to the network configuration, give it yet again a unique IP address. This one's named 18, and it's set to the master, which will be the one sending out the main source of information. 
and we do all the same steps. But it, what we've changed now is the retransmission was set to 5 and the destination unit is now 20. And yet again, click Submit. We then, what we can do is we can open up a program that comes with the software known as Discover IP. We click Discover New because both are on. And you will now note that both IP addresses are current. They are sending information to each other. So a way we can test this. You'll note that the master is not plugged in to any other computer. But if I was to talk and try and access it, access 18, I can still go through this wireless one, this wired in one, to this wirelessly. And that's pretty much it. Good luck.